this this daughter name is nandita and i am trying to meet her for the past one month they are not allowing me inside they are unnecessarily pushing me and threatening me mata pita nathiya mata de nityanandam this is manithi tatwapranatha speaking i would like to begin by stating categorically that the allegations made against our guru the supreme pontiff of hinduism bhagwan nityananda parameshwar and the false claims of our kidnapping propagated by the media and the anti hindu elements are completely baseless and are not true. my name is manithi nandita and i concur with manithi tatwapranatha's statement we want to make it unequivocally clear that we both that women aged 24 and 22 years respectively and we are not under any form of duress or any kind of pressure whatsoever we have been living our lives out of our own individual free will and we have chosen this path of sanyas living as a hindu monk inspired by the teachings of our guru supreme pontiff of hinduism bhagwan nityananda parameshwar which we believe is the best way to live to live our highest potential in serve humanity our position in this matter has been clearly documented and submitted to the court including our statements attested at the high commission of india moreover i have personally met with the indian police and have given my statement confirming that i am not kidnapped and also confirming to them that the choice that i made is out of my free will and we have conducted numerous online courses and continuing to conduct spiritual programs based on the teachings of our guru the supreme pontiff of hinduism which have participants from over 80 countries across the globe and we regularly interact with the public and very prolific on social media platforms almost every single day we come live which by itself is a testament to the fact that we are not held against our will in addition to that we have also furnished our current locations and addresses to the court as well as our all the relevant authorities to prove that we are not missing or kidnapped and we want to make it very clear that the false allegations against our guru and the baseless habeas corpus petition that has been filed do not hold any water our guru bhagwan nityananda parameshwar the supreme pontiff of hinduism was not even in the country during the alleged kidnap and he had not been to gujarat for more than 14 years and i also want to state another fact over here i have never been to gujarat the state where they claim to have this kidnapping that had happened i have never been there and not just that during that alleged kidnapping time i was not even in the country i had left the country a year prior to that so in conclusion we want to reiterate that the allegations made against our guru the supreme pontiff of hinduism bhagwan nityananda parameshwar and us are false and have no basis in reality we urge every one of you to verify the facts before making any assumptions and not to fall prey to the false propaganda spread by the anti hindu we are going to be playing certain clips and we are also going to be presenting the facts so you know what to protest this this daughter name is nandita and i am trying to meet her for the past one month they are not allowing me inside they are unnecessarily pushing me and threatening me mata pita nathiya mata de the this is an absolute lie how many times how many times he has met meeting let alone meeting just one month before this entire attack this happened on the uh, in the month of november 2019 just, 2019 so just a month before this i traveled with him to multiple places to delhi to kolkata in each of these pictures speaks for themselves we even celebrated ganesh chaturthi together so why is a question of meeting we were traveling together literally like living together so why is a question of not being able to meet so this is i'm just shocked how even was very exactly in this claim that he is making where he says that he was not able to enter the campus he was not allowed inside just absolute lies firstly 
how many times he has come to the campus how many times he has met with the children these pictures speak for themselves like actually in this very photo you can see how he and a mother are sitting with a brother and sister inside the, the campus and this was dining area i think yes this was the dining area and during this time actually when he was talking like this right i was in period and i was continuously trying to reach him. i was seeing the news and i was shocked like how can somebody be so uh, like lying so blatantly lying baselessly lying he was continuously showing the november 1st 2019 he was flashing my photo her photo on the media saying that he is not able to meet us and he is uh, he said that we both are kidnapped we both are being confined i was shocked when i saw that and i was continuously trying to reach he cut my calls i would have called him at least 20 to 30 times he deliberately cut my calls kept cutting my calls and then blocked my number he blocked me and so just imagine and see which father if a father is trying to meet his daughters would he cut their calls and i kept trying to reach my mother she also did not pick up my call they kept cutting my calls and ended up blocking me and at the same time they were flashing my pictures all over the media and falsely lying to everyone that i was missing they lied saying that i was being abducted while i was not which father which mother would cut your child's call when they are desperately trying to reach you and you go on lying that they are missing or they are being abducted this is not any trying to find daughters or anything as they claim this was a very clear criminal plot they had that they executed they targeted the supreme pontiff of hinduism they wanted to attack supreme pontiff of hinduism and demolish the all women in the university that was flourishing and they tried to use both of us as pawns when we denied they retaliated in a way that i had never ever imagined and to this day we are still fighting for justice